Hello, hello, so Jasmine, and welcome back to another K-pop haul. I do believe this is going to be another collective haul. We are going to be starting with a newest season's greetings. So if you know me, you know that I have a rule that I do not buy season's greetings. They're too big and I never use them. Season's greetings, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a whole bunch of cute little merch that kind of sets you into the new year. But I don't use it because for me, K-pop merch is just too cute to use. Therefore, there's absolutely no point in me buying it. So I stay away from it because they can be pretty pricey. They're usually about $30 to $40 and then you have to pay shipping for them. And because they're big and heavy, they usually come out to about $70. And I just don't like to waste my money on them. But as you guys know, Nuis have recently disbanded. And this was on sale for about $20 on K-Pop Town. And they were doing a uh, sale for a lot of season's greetings. I was maybe going to pick up the SF9 one and the Sewoon one. But SF9 and Sewoon are not disbanded. Only New East was. So I really only found the need to buy this one. And I thought I'd unbox it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get started. That was actually really, really simple. So this was being sold as a set i believe but i believe the calendar is in here like it was the season greetings and the calendar but i think the calendar is in here uh, i'm not exactly sure but let's just take a moment it's upside down isn't it it is This is what that looks like, says New East. Oh, 2019. 2019, this was the year Minion had returned from 101. That's kind of insane. The New East logo is really pretty, has the names on the bottom. And then I think we just have New East has an icy season greetings, the logo, and lettuce. That was actually a while ago. Yes, so here is everything. As stated, this did come with the calendar. The reason why I bought it is because it was a pretty good deal to get the season's greetings with the calendar. They were a couple months ago selling them separately, but obviously a lot of New East merch is starting to disappear because they're disbanded, which makes me extremely sad. Uh, so it wasn't a bad price. This is a compartment. Oh, okay. A lot here. Um, I guess we'll take it out one by one and then put it back in one by one, just so we don't get confused. <laughs> yes, all right. So, first thing we have, I believe, is just photos. Very, very pretty photos. So we have Jonghyun, Aaron, Beko, Minyeon, and Ren. Look at the outfits. Like, look how pretty those are. And I think we have a poster. Love the coloring on this poster. It's kind of big to show you, but very cute. The back just says 2019 Seasons Greetings. And then it has the logo. This is going to make me sad unboxing this. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the other two things. I did not show you guys what the back looks like. So they all have a ombre coloring and then it just has the logo with the member's name. Very, very pretty. Everything so far is super pretty. Next thing I believe is the calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. This is what that looks like. So I'm not exactly sure what to... Oh, it folds out like that. Well, I'll leave it as a different angle. Let's flip through. This must be... That's May. We're actually in May. That's kind of funny. So we have Jillian. Erin. Blackco. Minion. The outfits are really cute. Love the color. So this side must be the photos, and then this side must be the months. But confused as to why you'd start it 
Meg. <laughs> Ren's outfit was so pretty though. All right. Oh, it's because it was Aaron's birthday. Jongin is set for June. Becca is set for July. A. That's my birthday month, if you guys did not know. I have Mignon for August. We have September. October. We have Run for November. December. That's cute. So, oh, are they here? I don't think they're here. I don't think January, February, March, and April are here. Which is interesting. Because it is a season's greetings and I explained that to y'all. <laughs> but still really, really cute. I just really quickly wanted to show you guys the detail on this. I don't know if anything's on the back. No. The coloring is just really, really pretty though. All right, now we have a photo book. I do want to do that last, perhaps. We have a set of stickers. I'm gonna take them out of the packaging because the reflection's quite bad. So this is what that looks like. Very, very, very cute. I'll show you guys it against that. That's what that looks like. And then we have, I'm not sure what this is, so let's open it and see. It's some type of book, but I don't believe it's the photo book because I already have that. So this is a hard to open book. All right. Oh, this is like the memo, the memo page. Honestly, would have kept that in the wrapping had I known, but this is what that looks like. All right, now let's go through the photo book and then I will leave the photo cards for the last thing as we open. All right, so let's open this. I believe that's all I have to open. All right, let's flip through the photo book. On my off screen, one second. I think that'll do it. Right. Yes. One thing Nui's had was beautiful merch. The blue in this photo book is beautiful. We've honestly not heard too much from Beko and Minyon. Uh, the only thing I've heard uh, from any of the members was Aaron. He has a radio show out right now with one other person. Uh, Ren was actually a guest on his show. So if you're interested in that episode, I will leave a link down below. They did allude to the fact that it was not their decision to disband, which I do believe we all knew that. I do believe it is interesting that Becca and Minyan did renew their contracts, but it was definitely a loss to Pledis, to Hybe, and to K-pop as a whole. I do believe it was more so Hybe that screwed them over than Pledis, but Pledis is not an angel and had they done their job in the first place, we would not be here. But that was the photo book. So with the season's greetings, we got two, I guess, photo card sets. This, I believe, is the unit photo cards. 
So we have a lenticular of Aaron, Vren, and Jongin. And then we have Beko. I'm sorry. That's of Minyun. And then we have Beko and Jongin. It's kind of hard to see those. Well, not really. So that's the first photo card set. I did not show you guys the back. So here's the first photo card, and here's the back of the second one for the second photo card set. These are really pretty. The backs are really nice. Look at that, super pretty. That does not look like a finger heart. <laughs> Ooh, this photo card of Beko is super pretty. We got a photo card of Ren in this outfit. I love the backs of these cards. Super pretty. They might all say something different. Hold on one second. We'll go through the backs really quickly. So I think some of these are message cards and then the other ones just have their signatures on them. And that is everything for New East 2019 season's greetings. Definitely made me a little sad to go through this, but I will continue to buy New East merch even though most of it is disappearing off sites. I just said that. Very, very sad to see. But I want New East to sort of live on on my channel. Like I really don't want them to like disappear off my channel. So I'll continue to unbox them, continue to unbox albums, continue to include them in in organizing photo card videos. We'll still definitely continue to do all that because I'm not letting Nuist as a name die. I will not. We will not do it. All right. I don't know when the next clip is going to be, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hello, everyone. I don't know how long it's been since the last clip. It's definitely been a few weeks, but I thought I'd show you guys this. I originally wasn't going to, but then I realized technically I did buy it. So last weekend I attended Must Be's concert and I ordered a merch pack online. They did spell my name wrong, but it's okay. But I thought I'd show you guys what I got with it. This was $58 in total. I did pick it up at the concert. So everything that I bought was for what was in this package. It came with a cute little baggie if you bought the set. You could buy everything individually, but if you bought the set, it came in a cute little bag. And I wanted the little bag. I've definitely torn it up a little bit since the concert. Um, it was falling everywhere, hitting things, so my fault. Let's get everything out. All right, so the first thing I'll show you guys just to get these out of the way is these were the snapshot tickets. I did take selfies with all five members. So when you bought the tickets, they gave you these. Um, and then they punched a little hole at the bottom to make sure you weren't uh, reusing them. So yeah, I just thought I'd keep those as a cute little memory because technically it was a part of the concert. All right, the next thing that we got were some photo cards. I don't think anything's on the back of that. So... This was a lot of photo cards. If I counted correctly, I believe I got 18, not counting this first one. But we'll go through all of them. This one's so cute. Look at Taegon. Hoyan. Doha. Suyan. Shihu. And you get two group shots. I think this is what all of the backs look like. Yes. So that was the photo card set. Next, we have a slogan. So this is a little messed up. I must have put it in slightly wrong, but it's all right. As long as the slogan's okay. So this says, must be a, oops must be a light and it has all their names on it and the must be logo and then on the back we have the members 
I actually thought this was really cute. Like, I like that. This is actually my very first slogan. I usually don't get slogans. But uh, I don't really like this company, like the touring company. But at least they did cute merch. Like, I will give them that. I'm not going to hate on them for that. Because this slogan's a lot cuter than... I thought it was going to be because we kind of blindly bought this like we didn't have any previews or anything actually there were previews on the site but it wasn't like exactly what you were getting you know so I have a freebie that I got in line at the concert uh, these girls were handing these out and they came with glow sticks that we wrapped around our wrists which that was really cute so this was random so I got tagons so it's just a cute little like not a sticker is it a sticker? It could be a sticker. Or just like little cutouts. And this is maybe a touring company. Vida un experiencia inolvidable en Corea del Sol. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll shout them out because they gave me cute little freebies. And last but not least, we have a signed album. So. This did not originally come signed. You did just get the album and they were doing a band sign for the gold ticket holders. But if you didn't bring an album, they didn't sell them at the venue. And I didn't know that. I actually thought albums came with the gold ticket because there was a fan sign. And then the girl behind me asked me, she was like, what's in the packet? And I was like, oh, it's like an album and a photo cards, you know. And she was like, oh, like, I really wish that they were selling albums. And I was like, they're not? She was like, no. And I was like, well, I think you get one with your ticket. And she was like, no. And I was like, really? So I would have been so upset had I not bought this and I got there and realized I had to pay $10 for a poster for them to sign. I would have been so mad. Anyways, it came as a sealed album and I used it as my fan sign item. So all of these signatures are there. This is the back of it. And I'll show you guys my pool. If you guys have never seen a uh, Must Be album, we can go through a few shots. Back when Tay, back when Suyon had purple hair. <laughs> Seon just dyed his hair blue and cut it off back when Taegon had black hair. I wish the boys would all go with that hair again. But as I said, Seon just dyed his hair bluish and cut most of it off. The hair looks good. So, uh, Seon's hair looks amazing. Love it. For my photo card, I pulled Taegon. You know what's funny is Taegon was my original bias. And he still might be. I don't know. I don't know who I bias in... Must be, because when I went to the concert last weekend, all of them had such interesting and amazing, like, solo qualities. Like, Doha, he's a phenomenal singer. Taegon is a, an amazing performer. And, I don't know, like, each member has, like, their own, like, qualities. So, it's really hard for me to base my bias off of, like, one thing, because I thought I knew it. And then I didn't, and then I went to the concert and I was even more biased, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, they look good in suits. Can we get a concept like that again, please? Yo, Doha looks amazing in this suit. Look at them. Also, uh, Must M Entertainment, release Senorita right now. La Senorita. Release it right now. Give my boys a comeback. Give them an album. Give them proper promotion right now. All right, and that is everything for my signed... Let Me Rise Again album. My favorite song is probably Realize. I want to say, I want to say, do we have a checklist on the back? Yeah. Uh, Time's Up is really cute. I really enjoyed Time's Up at the concert. So Realize and probably Time's Up are my favorite must 
be, I was about to say must stem, must be songs. So yes. All right, that's everything that I got from my little merch bundle from the concert. I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna be buying albums soon because I'm bored. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Hi everyone, I'm back with the third clip. This is gonna be a really quick clip because this is K-pop related merch, but it's not something I bought. My best friend, shout out to my girl Sit Lolly, bought me some BT21 merch for my birthday and I just wanted to show it because I thought it was really cute and before I started using it. So the first thing are these little RJ plushies. They're not keychains, I guess they're plushies. I'm not sure, but they're really cute. Look at them. They're so cute. I don't know why. I just think these are really, really cute. So she got me two of those. She got me a photo holder. I actually don't know what this is. I think it's where you put uh, like a photo card in it, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Oops, not me ripping it. Right? Do you put a photo in it? Like a photo card? Yeah. Let's test it out. So I have a Wunchol Meist pre-order benefit from Meekstar. I'm just going to see if it fits in here. I would have chose a BTS card, but I don't really have any out right now. These are like photo cards. Well, this one's actually for sale, but the photo cards over here are usually for me to put away. So look, a little something like that. That's cute. I don't know if I'd ever actually use these just because I'm very hesitant on taking my photo cards out of packaging. I get like really, really nervous when any of my photo cards, Polaroids, anything like step outside my room. But I get the idea and I think it's really cute. If I had like an extra photo card, like duplicates, maybe, and then like attach it to like my book bag or something, I think that'd be cute. So I get the vision. The last little mini thing she got me was this cute little keychain. She actually has one that is a strawberry equivalent. So I have the Sandia, she has the Fresa, and they're matching key rings, which I thought was really, really cute. So there's that. And the last thing she got me was this cute little BT21 Tata chilling at home photo card binder, I guess. Um, a photo album. They call it photo album. So that's what this looks like. I think it's really, really cute. And honestly, my BTS collection isn't that big. So I'm thinking of downsizing it into this because I think it's really cute. And I just don't pay too much attention to my BTS collection to have it in the big binder that I have it in. I have had thoughts of downsizing it into this. Um, oh, you can put a little card right there. That's cute, I like that. I think it's 16 pages holds 128 cards. I think that's what that says right there. I don't know Korean though, so it could be wrong. But 16 pages, 128 slots makes sense. So yeah, I think that'd be fun to, to reorganize my photo card binder and like a little BT21 uh photo card album i think that'd be really cute i don't know i just think this is really cute i do wish they had like a little thingy right here to keep it closed like a diary but um yeah i think it's really cute shout out to my girl for buying me all this for my birthday um very cute i love bt21 merch i think it's so cute i'm definitely gonna have to get her some before i leave mexico but yes i just wanted to show you all that because i thought it was really cute and uh, I don't own a lot of BT21 merch, so I just wanted to show you guys that as a part of this haul. So that was everything. I forgot to mention that the photo holder is of RJ, who technically is my bias, can you tell? Um, I like RJ, Koya, and Tata merch. I think they're the cutest characters, so they're sort of like my biases in BT21. But yes, that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this clip, and I'll see you in the next one. The next one will be albums, I promise. Hola a todos, and welcome back to the last clip of this collective haul. Really quickly, I want to apologize for the dog barking outside. They're just going like crazy for some reason tonight. In here, I have some 17 items, which I'm very excited about because if y'all remember me saying, I did say earlier this year, or maybe last year, that I did want to start expanding my 17 collection. I did want this to be one 17 album and then a TXT album, but there are only two of these left in stock. And when I open it, you'll know why I wanted to get two of them. I will say though, I didn't expect this to be so small. Even though I know like what it is, I knew it was going to be small. I just didn't think it was gonna be this small. Oh 
Oh my god, they're even smaller than I thought. <laughs> okay. In here, I have two of Seventeen's newest albums. This was not only the Weavers version, but this was the Weavers version with the pre-order Weavers photo cards, which is why I bought two is because I wanted the pre-order photo cards. So this was Sector 17. That is so little, y'all. That is so little. It's like the size of my letter opener. <laughs> okay, so I have two pre-order cards here. I thought these were very pretty and I wanted to see what they looked like in person. So you got one pre-order card and then you got a frame for it. So I'll just flip them both around. I think, yeah. Three, two, one. I got Sun Kong. This is a really cute card. So this is the card without the frame. And this is what the frame looks like. I actually like the frames. I don't mind it. It says Sector 17. That's cute. It doesn't really go like the yellow doesn't really go with the background colors. But it's cute. And my second card is, I hope they're different. Just put him right there before he falls. <laughs> Three, two, one. <gasps> one, whoa. Oh my God, he looks so good. This frame does go with this card. And would also go with Song Kwan's, but yes, those are the Weaver's pre-order photo cards. And it says so on the back. So that's what that looks like. Very cute. All right, so in these there's only photo cards and part of the reason why i don't collect 17 is because their albums are really big i actually saw two of them in person the other day and i was like damn i knew you were big but i didn't realize how big they are huge albums and honestly because they're so big they are more expensive and i just don't collect 17 like that so I told myself going forward, if I were to buy any 17 albums, they would be like their smaller versions, their carrot versions, or compact versions, anything like that. Basically the carrot versions are the compact versions, but you know. Anyways, let's get into the actual albums. I zoomed y'all in slightly. Does this need to be, I don't think so. There is a little sticker, but I don't think it needs to be open. Uh, oh, it's on the actual album, Dot Jasmine. Uh, Y'all know I hate these stickers. Okay. That one was easier than that one. So before I show you guys what it looks like on the inside, this is what they look like I like the font it's cute I like the coloring and then it says the Weavers album version here's the back oops okay we have a little what is this like a it's the user guide but it has a cute little layout of some photos that's cute I don't know what you need a user guide for. They're just photo cards. <laughs> All right. Oh, so there are three cards in here, two photo cards and an AR photo card. Maybe that's what you need the user guide for. So off the top, I have Dino. These are really thick photo cards. This must be the AR one. Yes. Uh, then we have Dino. And... Dino. Okay, maybe they're sets. That's cool. So here are his photo cards. Cute, cute. The backs are cute. I like these. And the AR photo card looks like this on the back. I never actually scan the QR code, so I don't know um, what I'm going to do with that. And this is what the inside looks like. Just have some writing there. I think the colors for this album are very, very pretty. And these are like so little that they're easy to store, which I'd like. Because when you collect so many groups, it can get hard to store these albums. Like next thing you know, you're putting them in storage. Right. 
there is no way to like resew that though which i don't love but it's okay all right for my next version we have the user guide and we have Uzi. so i'm gonna assume this is gonna be a set <laughs> so we have uzi's ar photo card we have his first photo card and his i think this is the concept photo card but this does go with the reverse pre-order photo cards so very very cute i cannot wait to store these they're gonna look so good ah so exciting here's the ar photo card i think they call those the qr photo cards not the ar sorry i'm so used to ar photo cards and here is the last one all right, I will show you guys what they all look like. So here are the 17 photo cards. I'm actually quite happy. I think that they all look really good. Even though they're different concepts, they all kind of go together. Like these four go together and then these four go together. So I really like it. This will be the end of today's collective haul. Uh, I honestly don't know if I'll have any more hauls coming until Christmas. I do have a very exciting one coming up when I return home but y'all will have to stay tuned for that one so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to big thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you don't use know where it's at all my social links will be down below and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>